Praise the Lord. Minister Hill once again. Got a good message tonight. Speaking it into existence. But first, a little song goes like this. Oh, his name is Jesus. 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 Oh, there's something about that name. He's my master. He's my savior. Jesus. Let all heaven and earth proclaim. Kings and kingdoms will all pass away. But there's something about that name. His name is Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, there's something about that name. He's my master. He's my savior. Jesus, like the fragrance after the rain, kings and kingdoms shall all pass away, but there's something about that name. Yes, my friend, his name is Jesus. Amen. And tonight, I want to talk about speaking it into existence. Amen. Everything that was created and made in the beginning was from the mouth of God. Speaking from the invisible into the visible. From the supernatural into the natural. God said, and God said, let there be light, and let the firmament of the heavens be. God said, let there be waters gathered together, and call he seas. And he said, let the dry land appear, and God called the land earth. So throughout creation, God spoke things into existence, even the animals and the human beings. Then God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. Our image of God is our spirit man, our inner man. God is a spirit, and we must worship him in spirit and in truth. So we are part spirit and part flesh, but after his image is our spirit man, also made after God's image. In his likeness means that we are to have the character of, of God. Also in this likeness we also can speak things to manifest in our lives. You don't need a word from someone else, but life and death is on the power of the tongue. Speaking it into existence. When you are all alone and you are facing your mountain, your family problems, your court problems, your job problems, your health problems, your money problems, you must speak to the mountain and it shall be moved. A mountain of problems and trouble. Jesus said unto them in Matthew 17 chapter and the 20th verse,
because of your unbelief. For verily or truly, I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say, or ye shall speak it, uh -huh, unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Amen. Jesus was not speaking of Mount Everett. No, he wasn't. Uh, Mount Sinai. But he was talking about your heap of trouble. He was talking about your heap of problem. Your pile of sickness. Your mound of hindrance. That's the mountain Jesus was talking about. And you can speak, and it shall be moved. Speak, and they shall be moved. When we talk to God, asking in prayer, we are speaking to God, who will answer in a open manifestation. We speak, and God does the moving. Preach, Robert Hill. <coughs> No prayer, no answer. There is no magical trick. After you pray and there are positive results, God answer prayer. When you pray and there are positive results, God has answered your prayer. If you don't get on your bending knees, and speak to God, you will always face life mountains. Once again, you don't need someone to speak in your life or in your pocketbook. You don't need a motivational speaker getting you caught up in the moment because the motivational speaker he also have problems and troubles. Amen. Job said in the 14th chapter in the first verse, Man that is born of a woman is of few days and full of trouble. Job also said in the 5th chapter in the 7th verse, Yet man is born unto trouble as the sparks fly upward. All human beings, whether rich or poor, are full of trouble. Yes, we're talking about speaking it into existence. So you don't need someone speaking in your life concealing their trouble or troubles trying to excite you with words out of your troubles. Hmm? It won't work. They speaking and hiding their troubles, trying to excite you with their words to get you out of your troubles. No, it will not work. It is just a hype. Uh -huh. But Job said in chapter 5 and verse 8, I would seek Unto, unto God. Did you hear that? He said, I would, if I were you, seek unto God. Not Les Brown, the motivational speaker. Not a fly-by-night prophet. Not a Miss Cleo. No, you don't want to do that. But you seek unto God. And unto God would I commit my cause. You take it to God in prayer. You speak it unto God into existence. Huh? Yes, once again, my friend, we're talking about speaking it into existence. That's power in your words. Part 2.